I usually try to start shooting somewhere near the beginning of the story and let the, the actors figure out what they're doing from there. Certainly, I, I would never have asked a couple of actors as experienced as those two to go rehearse. To the extent I could, I started at the beginning, and particularly in the first couple of weeks, I tried to you know, get these scenes in first before we had to do anything more serious so that the actors got the chance to figure out who they were going to be and how they related to each other. Carl Weathers got involved. I went looking for somebody to work with Arnold, to have an actor for him to work with, because he, um, particularly for an actor who's starting the way Arnold was at that time, what the best thing it can get him is a good actor to work against. Um, it'll improve their performance enormously. Um, and so right from the beginning, I was campaigning to get a real pro in this, in Carl Weathers' part. Uh, and I, I finally talked him into Carl, because it was a budget consideration. They didn't really want to do it, but, uh, but I pushed. What do we got to do? They built the 40 millimeter grenade launcher, the six gun arrangement. To some extent, it was a notion that you could develop character or label the guys, or the audience would start to know who they were if, the, if some of them had distinctive weapons. But the weapons themselves were, uh, were unique to the man. Look, we just stopped a major invasion, and three days they'd have been across the border with this stuff. Why us? Because nobody else could have pulled it off. Now, this sequence was really what Carl was for. And now that my men were in that chopper when it got here. Carl's strength is what allows Arnold to be plausible here. He'd never done a face to face shouting match with somebody else where you actually believed him. Where you didn't say, Oh, you know, he's a he's a bodybuilder with a great, charming manner, but you actually said, you know, no, he's the character in the in the movie. Um and Carl had a lot to do with it. I only saw Bill Duke. Bill, in particular, is good about you know, developing a scene because, because particularly when it's basically mechanics or something, it's it's. Uh, I often try to leave leave actors the room to to develop characters on their own, uh, the, to be able to shape it and actually give the character a personality, which means you have to give them some. Verbal license. You can't make them exactly say what the words are in the screenplay. Uh, the screenplay becomes a, a blueprint, and uh, and if the actors are good, they'll take the blueprint and play with it and improve on it. I seem to always get caught with this stuff where I've got people speaking another language back and forth, but it's odd. I think actually where it came from was spending so much time watching foreign movies. And I would never read the subtitles. And I really didn't care what people said. And I still don't, I get myself in so much trouble with it because I don't pay attention to what people say. I don't pay attention to what they say on, on screen. Um, I pay attention to what they look like when they say it and how it sounds. Um, which, you know, is sort of part of this notion I've got that. Um, Movies are really music. They're not plays. They're not photographed plays. They're, it's a s completely separate idea, and that it's it's much closer to music than it is to to the theater. So I guess that's why I, I often have people speaking in a foreign language, is because then the audience just hears how they say something instead of what they say. It took me a while to get this cut as so that it, it, it's simply sustained and it's relatively simple. Um, and there are shots that, that sustain for quite a while rather than constantly jumping back and forth. And part of what my personal desire in movies is that they actually have a geography and that they be time continuous and and they have some sense of reality uh, and in order
order to do that, you can't constantly jump around and cut. Uh, sometimes you have to leave it alone. Sometimes you have to not call attention to the editing, because calling attention to the editing does, by definition, um, separate the audience. <laughs> 